we, we learn from everything. We learn from our teammates, any coaches available, not that there were so many good coaches, but, and we learn from uh, watching others. Um, the teammates also helped us spot. The coaches didn't always do the spotting, so that was important. But anyway, I, uh, a good example was a trick called a German giant on the high bar. I figured out the most difficult skills that people did in those days on the high bar. And I said, if I can learn them, I'll do well. So I put the high bar low. It was a chitting bar. It was only about five feet wide. When the regular bar now is about eight feet wide. And uh, what I did is I got, put the bar low, about shoulder height. I, I knew how to do a trick called a back hip, which is the entry trick for a German giant. And I used that as a novice beginning gymnast in New York. So I had a good back hip, which helped. I had a year or two of practice on that, year, about a year and a half. And I, well, I just stood on the bar and I just threw my legs over my head and I landed on, we didn't have soft mats and we had mats made out of hair. We put two or three down, three was considered plush. But we landed on that, hurt our feet a little bit, but I landed on that and I kept doing that before I knew it, before long I could do it out of a back hip. And then I learned the German. So I figured that out myself. And my coach came in, he felt good because it made him look good, like he taught it to me. Coach at the Y, John Van Alten, he was quite good. And he would make us keep form. And he knew he was brought up in European gymnastics, so the, the basics were there. So he would help, and, uh, and he knew how to do certain skills, other skills he didn't know how to do. And uh, one trick was a flyaway. So this one off the high bar. He told me to arch off the bar, and I did that flyaway. And for the first year or so, I remember every time I was in meet, and I was ready to let go. I was hoping that I wouldn't die. And once I let go and I felt that I wasn't going to get killed, I felt a, a sense of relief in the air and I landed. And actually that's when I entered my first nationals with that flyway. Um, so, um, and I won meets with it. Won YMCA nationals and things like that. So uh, what happened is I went to a, a gym in uh, New Jersey, the Swiss Turners in Union City. New Jersey, and there was a guy named Jack Holst. He was a 1933 national champion on high bar, supposed to be the first guy ever to use a double off the high bar in competition, in, our, in the American competition. Pros and other people had done it in the early 1900s, but this was supposed to be the first one. From the old, the old timers told me that. So I saw him, he was, had a professional high bar act. He had three high bars set up in a line. I saw him do a flyaway catch a second bar Pump a giant, flyaway caught the third bar, pump a giant, do a double flyaway, landed on a carpet. And I went, wow, that guy's good. So I asked him, I said, Jack, can you help me with the giant? I mean, a flyaway? He said, yeah, come here, kid. And I walked over, and the first thing he told me is, make sure you swing through the bottom and just lift your legs up, your knees up. And as soon as I lifted my legs up, the flyaway felt better. My coach had told me to arch off the bar because he didn't know how to really teach it even though he could do a flyaway himself. Matter of fact, in between that, this guy, Ed Scroby, who was a mentor of mine, two-time Olympian for us, he would, i say, Ed, how do you do a flyaway? He'd go, okay, watch me. And he'd do a giant, do a high flyaway, and he'd yell out, hip, and he'd be way up in the air. Oh, wow, that was great, Ed. I go, he goes, now do that. I go, how do you do it, though? I still didn't know there was like the certain things that made, so it was Jack Hulse that gave me the idea to lift my legs up in front. And from that, I sort of perfected a way to teach a flyaway eventually as a coach. I was, a flyaway was always safe for me. And uh, it kept me the right distance from the bar, and uh, it was really good. And I discovered if you wait before you lift your legs, it keeps you away from the bar, and blah, blah, blah. I had a gymnast named Jay Whalen. When he came to college, he said, Coach, one thing I would like to let you know, I never want to learn a flyaway because he had hit the bar a couple of times, and he just thought that he would get killed. And I said, Jay, I have a way to teach it. I think you'll be okay. And when he was a junior, so he did a full twisting double. And he, I reminded him and he goes, yeah, I remember that. Cause I have a way that it's like almost by the numbers. You do one, two, three, and it's safe. And it was good.